I show it's five o'clock. We'll call the Lake Mills Police and Fire Commission meeting to order. Everybody, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, John. Item number three of roll call. I um, show all commissioners here. I don't. I didn't hear anything from Mike, so I got an excuse there. Uh, item number four: acceptance of the regular meeting minutes from September twenty first, twenty twenty three. Dan, can I ask you a question about, I know you weren't here, but those items were tabled from, I think, the August meeting or July meeting, whatever that was. Yeah. So we, I At didn't. At this point, I would accept them and put them into the record. Expect that the secretary performed in their duties appropriately and just accept them and move on. Okay. All righty. Sounds good. Here, uh, any other corrections or additions or anything else to those minutes? Okay, hearing none, we'll accept the, the regular minute meetings from September 21st, 2023, with the correction that they were, um, the item was brought to the table. Okay, uh, moving on to an item number five, police chief report. Good evening. A um, couple things to inform the PFC about tonight. Uh, one, just an update on our K-9. Uh, it's required to do an annual certification process. Uh, Officer Hanley and Truman went to Indiana last month um, for a three-day certification. They passed, so we are good to go, and our K-9 is certified for another year. Um, the big news since we last met is the COPS hiring program application that I submitted in April uh, I was notified that we were approved for funding for two additional officers um, so one of those is currently being contemplated in the 2024 budget and then we'll work potentially to add the second one in the 2025 budget that grant provides up to $125,000 for each officer over a three-year period um, so on a total of a quarter of a million dollars, which will certainly help to um, soften the blow and the transition to adding two positions to our agency for our taxpayers. So that was good news. Um, and that will roll into an agenda item for the hiring timeline, which um, I'll wait till that agenda item, but that's really all I have. Otherwise we're businesses as usual for the police department. I guess I will add, I did open a hiring process to fill the position for 2024. So we are accepting applications currently. Um, I did post it uh, with the information that we would potentially sponsor a candidate through the Law Enforcement Academy, hoping that would widen our applicant pool. As of yesterday, we had not received an application since I posted it on the 8th. Uh, I posted it on WileyNet, which is the statewide Wisconsin Law Enforcement Network. I also posted it on or through the handshake website with all of our colleges and our four-year and two-year colleges throughout the state and technical colleges hoping that we would reach out to those students who are currently in school for criminal justice as well as reaching out personally to representatives from each of our two-year schools um, to see if they could post it on any bulletin boards or reach out directly to any of their students so I would hope that we would have had some responses by now we haven't We'll see what happens. The application process closes the 26th of November. And if we don't have any by then, then I guess we'll have to reevaluate, post it again, and um, do some boots on the ground recruiting efforts uh, to get some applicants. So 
Um, again, the rest of the hiring timeline, I'll wait till the next agenda item. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Let's move on to the fire chief report. Uh, just to report, the fire department is running uh, fairly smooth. Uh, we've had a recent uh, couple structure fires, or one that was a potential structure fire. Uh, we had uh, smoke in the building, and uh, what happened was some people fell asleep with their pot on the stove, and could have turned into a lot worse of a situation, but it was not. Got notified early enough. Um, we've had an uptick in deer car motor vehicle accidents, so that is out there, so please drive safe. And our public education wrapped up for the month of October. Um, all the schools were attended. Um, Captain Joel Theater really takes the charge on that, as that is his uh, position to be in that leadership role for that, and did a wonderful job along with several members that assisted the program. Uh, other exciting items, obviously there's two uh, probationary firefighters coming on tonight, uh, so we're doing good in recruitment, keeping our numbers up, and the other item is the lieutenant's promotion. All right, let's move on to item number seven, confirmation of Caitlin Danner. Is so there, Caitlin is, is not here tonight. Okay. Uh, Caitlin comes to us. Uh, she is a individual who went through nursing, so she her current uh, job is a RN. Uh, working at Fort Memorial, I believe, is the location that she's working at. Um, her real desire is to get into the 911 service, fire and EMS both, and she's currently in the fire class that's being held at Lake Mills right now. Um, so she will be completing her fire one coming up here shortly, and we look to uh, ask for her to be brought on as a probationary firefighter. So hearing that, is there a motion to approve her as probationary firefighter? I'll make a motion to approve Caitlin Danner as a probationary firefighter. Motion by Jen, second. I'll second it. Second by Terry. Roll call, Terry. Aye. Lor. Aye. Jen. Aye. Russ, aye. Uh, Caitlin, wherever you are, welcome to the Lake Mills Fire Department. Chief number eight, please. Uh, the next one is a reinstatement for Tyler Boswick. Tyler is in the audience here tonight. Tyler received his Firefighter 1 in 2020, if I am correct with that. Um, so he has been a member of the department, on, you know, just as many. Uh, sometimes life happens and you need to take a little step away, um, but he is wishing to come back at this point. Tyler brings with a great deal of uh, mechanical experience as he works here in town at Fire Service Inc. repairing fire trucks. So this would be a great addition to have Tyler back on our department to kind of give us a little insight as to where we're going with certain things and that definite on scene, somebody who can potentially work through things. So we All look right. forward to reinstating Tyler. Is there a motion for a reinstatement of Tyler as probationary firefighter? I'll make that motion. Motion by Terry, second. I second. Second by Lor. Roll call, Terry. Aye. Lor. Aye. Jen. Aye. Russ, aye. Welcome back, Taylor. All right, let's see here. We'll move on to item number nine, approval of the police officer's precision hiring timeline. Hi, hello again. So I shared a, a hiring timeline with you uh, in the packet. Hopefully you received that. It follows a procedure that's been set uh, by the PFC in the past. Really, it's just inserting the date. So the process follows a procedure. Uh, it, it is an expedited process in the sense of we're really trying to get it done um, quickly. If we were to get the right candidate and there was availability in a January academy, we'd like to get someone into that academy. That's very uh, um, optimistic to say that we could do that, but in the chance that we can, I wanted to accelerate the timeline to meet that deadline. So um, if you have any questions about it, the only thing I would note on it is it could potentially require um, Police and Fire Commission interviews probably December 5th or 6th, so I would ask for a special meeting on one of those dates if possible to do the PFC interviews if we get to that point. Okie dokie. Um, everybody have a chance to look over the... I know the 6th is, let's see, 6th is, it, uh, what is it, Tuesday the 5th. Um, I Tuesday think that was bad. Tuesday or Wednesday. Is it Wednesday a possibility? Mm -hmm. Tuesday's, Tuesday's not, but 
yeah. Okay. How's that retired calendar yours look, Terry? Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I can notify you. We have to get applicants, and we have to get through the initial interview first. So I can notify you if it's necessary. I just wanted to put the dates out there so if we knew neither would work, we'd have to look at other dates. Let's plan tentatively plan for the 6th then. And maybe the 7th or something like that if whatever, just let us know and we'll work through it through Dan or Madison and okay. they happen. All right. So basically, is this application process open for people that are already certified and people non-certified? So will that matter interview-wise of how we... Uh, Interview-wise, it will not. So our process, um, as outlined, depending on the number of applicants at this point, I highly doubt we would get more than 35, which would require a written test and physical agility test. So the first stage would be um, the internal police department supervisors interviewing along with myself. Um, we'll interview everybody the same and everybody together. If we have some candidates to move forward to you, that would just be the same interview process with, before the PFC. All right, very good. So we'll plan those dates tentatively in our calendars and go from there. Um, anything else on the hiring process then? Just okay. hoping we get some, some applications. All right. Hearing no objection, I'll adjourn the meeting at 1711.